Hello, everybody. Welcome to Trials to Triumph. This is Pastor Brad Kloster from Living Word North Church in Bel Air, Michigan. I'm glad that you could join us tonight. We are in our new little uh, recording studio here that we have set up, and so I'm glad that we can change some things up on you a little bit to begin the new year. So welcome aboard. Glad to have you with us. And I'm excited to be able to share some things with you heading into the new year because this is a great time to talk about new year, new possibilities. What is possible, excuse me, what is possible for you and what is possible that God can do in your life? You know, the whole basis of this, this series that we do, this Trials to Triumph, is understanding that every single one of us is going through some sort of trial in our life. Every single one of us is going through maybe a, a, a realm of difficulty, a situation that's not easy, uh, a circumstance that's not good. Every one of us goes through these things in our life, and we all go through these times in our life that are difficult. And the whole point of this is I want to bring you encouragement from the Word of God to let you know that it doesn't have to stay that way, that the trial that you're going through now can become a triumph later on. Now, sometimes it takes some faith. Sometimes it takes some patience. Sometimes it takes some work and a combination of the three. But one way or the other, we can get these trials that we're going through and turn them into triumphs. And so today, I just want to bring you a verse or two to encourage you to to, to kick off this new year. And so I'm going to read 2 Corinthians chapter 5. This is a verse that we know well, uh, if you're a part of this church, our church family, you know this verse well. Second Corinthians chapter 5 and verse 17 says, If anyone is in Christ, he is a new creation. Old things have passed away. Behold, all things have become new. See, I want to focus on this for heading into the new year. Where Can you believe we're in 2024? I want to focus on this verse right now because I want us to think, you know, God has promised that when we meet him, when we become his kids, that everything becomes new. That means there's possibilities. That means you and I have the possibility of things, things in our life becoming new. It says all things have passed away and and behold, everything has become new. So we have the possibility of whatever it is that we're going through in our life that this thing can become made new. Now, what if this year, what if this was the year that the things that you're struggling with, the trial that you're going through becomes a triumph? What if this is the year? What if this is the season? If this is the time that's been appointed that if you don't lose heart, if you don't quit fighting, if you don't keep seeking after the things of God, that this is the time, this is the year that your trial turns into triumph. Well, that's exactly what I'm believing for you because I don't, maybe I don't know exactly what you're going through and I don't need to know everything that you're going through. But what I do know is that God said that when we, when we meet him and we become a new creation, everything becomes new. And that's exactly the, the encouragement that I want to bring to you today is it is possible. It doesn't matter if you've been fighting something for a year, two years, five years, 10 years, 30 years. It doesn't matter how long you've been fighting. What matters is that you haven't given up yet. What matters is that you're still here. What matters is that you've not waved the white flag. You've not surrendered, but you have decided that no matter what comes, no matter what the situation no matter what's going on in your life, that you're going to continue to put God first, to serve him, to love him, because you know that you will reap if you don't lose heart. And I just want to encourage everybody out there today that maybe this is your year. Maybe this is your time for the thing that you've been believing for, that God is going to bring that to pass. Whatever you do, do not lose heart in this. Now, I want to bring you one more verse before I let you go. And that's Isaiah 43, verses 18 and 19. And you can look these verses up later. It says, Do not remember the former things, nor consider the things of old. Now, in this verse, we can't really forget necessarily 
the former things or the th- is when it says do not remember it doesn't mean that we just automatically forget but the better phrase is secondly where it says do not consider the things of old in other words don't let the old things influence today don't let the way it used to be influence what you're going through right now don't let the what the 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 things from yesterday don't let that limit your thinking on what god can do for you right now today now let's keep reading it says behold god says i will do a new thing now it shall spring forth shall you not know it i will even make a road in the wilderness and rivers in the desert see this is exactly what i'm talking about when you're in the wilderness and you are lost and you need a way out, God comes in and he builds that road. He makes that way where there is no way. When you're in the desert and there's no nourishment, there's no water, you feel like you're going to die, you feel like you're going to, you know, everything, everything's terrible. And and what am I going to do next? And God shows up and makes a river in the middle of a desert. See, this is what God has the ability to do. And I want, to, I want to help you understand that he has the ability to not just do it for the ones we read about in the Bible. He has the ability to do it in you. He has the ability to do it in your life. Do you have the faith enough and the courage enough, I hope you do, to believe that God can do a work in your life? See, this is, what, this is the key that we have to believe going into this year. Is I, I'm going to believe for me, I'm going to believe for you that God can and will move on our behalf regardless of what has happened before, regardless of what yesterday looks like, regardless of what's worked before and what hasn't worked before. We're going to believe together that God's going to come through for us. Hey, this is an exciting year. It's an exciting time to live. It's an exciting time to to do what God has called us to do. Thank you for tuning in. Thanks for being a part of our Trials to Triumph. I hope it was a blessing. We'll see you again next time.